One week after the Cheeky Tournament, the Cape was hit by a powerful nor'easter. Sometimes storms push big fish in close to the beach, so I decided to give surf casting a try. This is not the Memorial Day weekend I think a lot of people were hoping for. We had such a beautiful April. Lots of sunny, warm days. It's been a little crazy weather, at least wind-wise, the past week. We had some warm days, but we uh, also had some really windy days. Had to cancel a lot of black sea bass trips. Hopefully we'll be able to reschedule those for this coming week. But the nice thing about the Cape, if the weather's bad, there's usually somewhere you can find to go fishing. It's 46 degrees, blowing about 30 out of the northeast, but it's good conditions for surf casting. We've got a high tide in about an hour and a half. I'm hoping there could be some big fish in these waves. There's a lot of herring around. So we'll give it a try. Right now I'm casting a pencil popper. I'm just gonna work this pencil popper aggressively across the surface, trying to make as much commotion as possible. Big striped bass will often swim close to shore during inclement weather. And fishing from the beach on a rainy, windy day will often outproduce hot and sunny conditions. Big hit, I'm on, nice. Wow, crushed it. Not a bad fish, I don't think. I don't think he's the 40 incher I was looking for, but I'm pretty happy. Oh wow, now he's, now he's pulling. Whoa. Pulling good now. I don't think he knew he was hooked for a moment there. Oh yeah, he's taking line. Oh yeah, right down the beach here. Probably gotta get off this jetty and try to land him on the sand. Nice fish. Wow, he, he's really digging now. using 30 pound braided line. Got the drag set tight enough to keep good tension on him, but definitely loose enough that there's no risk of breaking the line. Oh, this is actually a pretty big fish. I didn't think he was this big. Really big fish. Oh yeah, what a beauty. Got to keep him away from the jetty here. Wow, that's a real big one. I didn't think he was this big when he bit. That was a really nice fish. I landed the bass as quickly as possible and remove the hooks using pliers, which I keep on my surf casting belt. I put the striper back into the water so it could take a breath before bringing the bass to my camera for a quick picture. Wow, what a fish. Woo, what a fish. Get this guy back in the drink. Stay with them for just a little bit. Wow. Oh my God, thank you, fish. Oh, wow. So he fought really good. I'm just gonna spend a little time 
Just let the water rush over him a bit here. He'll be good to go just a little bit. Once he chomps down on my finger, I know he'll be good to go. He's almost there. If a big striper can't swim away on his own, then the fish will need reviving. Surprised he hasn't already taken off. This water's pretty cold. I didn't fight him for too long. I gently held the bass in the water and tried to help the fish recover by keeping the striper pointed into the current so water would rush over its gills. Oh yeah, here we go. He's really chomping down on my finger now. He's almost ready. Just gave me a really good chomp. Starting to move a little bit more. I can feel that. Come on, bud, take off, take off. In years past, I've spent as long as 15 minutes reviving a bass. There he goes. Woo! My God, what a fish. 46 degrees, 30 mile per hour northeast wind, Memorial Day weekend. It's amazing that the fish are able to find the popper in all this white water. It really is. <laughs>